Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Zenus Minis, my name is Greg and today we are doing a product review of Felder's miniature cases. So Felder is a German company that produce foam trays and carry cases for games like X-Wing, Zombicide and of course Warhammer. And I picked up the Mini Plus case a couple of months back now to carry around my Curse Breakers and my Kill Teams. But I felt like I wanted to include some more products as part of today's review. So I reached out to Felder and they very kindly sent me some extra cases to take a look at. So thank you very much for doing that. So in today's review we'll be covering the Mini Plus which has the Curse Breakers tray as well as two trays from Kill Team. We've got the Medium case which has trays from the Night Haunt half of the Soul Wars box set. And we've also got the dreaded Amble expansion tray, and that is in the magnetic blue box. So a lot to look through today, and we're going to kick things off with the Mini Plus. So we're going to kick things off with the Felder Mini Plus, and I bought this case a couple of months back, primarily for Warhammer Underworlds and for Kill Team, so those smaller skirmish type games. And inside we've got trays for the Curse Breakers, which are Underworlds, and two trays for Kill Team. But before we get stuck into that, we're going to take a look at the bag itself. And straight away it feels and looks like a premium product. The material is durable, it's very high quality. We've got the logo stitched on there. We've got some laser cut zips. Underneath we've got some space for your personal details. And on top we've got a handle which is securely fastened. We've also got some additional padding on the bottom and overall it feels like a very strong, very durable and premium case. And it continues to impress as you open it up. So this is one of my favourite features, even if it is just an aesthetic one. But we've got a very striking and vibrant red lining going on. And if you look closely, it might be easy to see as I unload it. We've got the Felder logo running through. So it just adds to that feeling that this is a quality and premium case for your models. So looking at some of the features of the case. In the lid, we've got a zip container. Perfect for miscellaneous things I use it for kind of like my tokens I've got my objective um, objectives for Warhammer Underworlds but you could put things in like your army lists or anything really that doesn't fit the traditional trays you may be using but it's always good to have optional and additional storage looking at the foam itself we've got the foam topper here and the foam is very soft so you know it's going to be kind to your miniatures but it's spongy and durable as well so if I crumple it up and let go it just reforms its shape so it's the combination of the two things that you really want from a case like this you know if you're traveling a lot and you can't it's getting knocked about a bit maybe you go into events you know you want it to be kind to your paint job but you want it to be rigid and hold its shape as well in this case uh, does that excellently the the foam is really high quality and what we're going to do now is look at the curse breakers tray so if you're an Underworlds player, you'll see that other than the boards, it pretty much has everything you need. You've got your dice, you've got space for your uh, tokens, you've got glory here, we've got miscellaneous things, your guard and move. So it's got all the space for those, plus space for your deck box as well. And if you play Kill Team like I do, you can add your tactics in there, so it just keeps them safe as well as your main deck for Underworlds. You've also got then your containers for your models. And as you can see, they are silhouetted perfectly to the model. And what that means is it limits movement. So they're not going to move about as much as you transport in. So it'll keep things like your arms or things that generally snap off pretty safe. And it also means you're getting in, them in and out pretty easy as well. So we've got Storm Sire, Storm Sire here. And you can see he fits in effortlessly, effortlessly in there. And, you know, if you spent a lot of time painting your models, I spent too much time probably painted mine. You know, you want to keep them safe and actually having these silhouetted kind of cut containers specifically for the models is one of the best ways to do it. And, you know, hats off to Felder, you know, they do a lot of different containers um, for Blackstone Fortress, for the different war bands, and they've all been cut specific to the models. So check those out. You know, they're not just for the Curse Breakers. If you're using Molog or another one, they'll do a tray for that. So that is the Warhammer Underworlds tray. So now we're going to check out some of the Kill Team based trays and I really love these trays because you've got a variety of different sized containers which is perfect for Kill Team because you've got a variety of different sized units. Especially with Elites on the horizon people are going to be taking things like Terminators which need to go alongside their regular 32mm or 25mm infantry. And this tray fits it all, really. I mean, we've got our Terminators. We've got five Terminators in here. And even this guy, 
who's got a bit of a longer pose going on. You know, he might not necessarily fit in a standard 32mm container or even a Terminator-based container because of the way his sword is sticking out. But actually having the option of this longer container here is perfect because he goes in there nice and snugly. But even with this guy here, the amount of times his arm has broken off in, in other storage options and it's been absolutely fine since I've been using this one. Uh, it is a bit of a godsend, you know, because once he's in there, he's not moving around too much, so there's less risk of that hand snapping off. Plus, you've got the smaller ones here, um, which is great for your regular 32mm power-armoured infantry. And even with the intercessors, which are a little bigger, a little bigger, and even though I've got this little servo skull, good boy servo skull, <laughs> sticking out there, you know, having the option for that larger container to fit him in means that skull's not going to be snapping off and i'm not going to have any issues there so really love this container and what we're going to do is have a look at the ones below it so i'm using this for servants of the abyss and as you can see we've got some standard sized uh, containers here which is great for 32 mil and uh, 25 mil infantry but then we've got these bigger ones here which are great if you're maybe a tyranid player and you're using lictors or tyranid warriors and you need that extra size you've got two options there as well and it fit things like my 32mm Death Guard, which, you know, these are huge guys really for infantry. You know, fits them absolutely perfectly as well. So it's great to have a variety of options. And Felder have done a great job at designing these trays because uh, they work perfectly for Kill Team. So here I am with the Felder Medium, which is the big brother to the Mini Plus, and inside this one, we've got trays for the night horn side of the Soul Wars, and this bag takes full size 120 mil trays. But before we get into the contents, we're going to take a look at the bag itself. So exactly the same as the Mini Plus, it's got that premium feel about it. We've got the same durable and strong material going on. We've got those laser cut zips, and we've got that awesome logo on the front. But the extra features we get with this bag is a front zip compartment, which obviously is larger than the Mini Plus, and you can fit things like your books or your army lists in there, or kind of whatever you want. And we've got that premium red looking line in there, so I still love that <laughs> every time I see it. The other addition we've got is this adjustable strap and you can also remove it as well but it's good to have that option to carry it around your shoulders if you want. The plastic feels quite strong, it doesn't feel brittle and it's good to have that kind of rubber support for your shoulder as well. And on top we've got a handle which again is securely fastened and we've got a rubber grip to it too. So I don't think you necessarily needed this with the Mini Plus but it's good to have that option for a larger bag that might be carrying heavier models. We've also got, which you can't really see in the video, is a cardboard um, support going through the top there just to add that extra layer of protection for your models. And underneath then, we've also got that added cardboard support. So if you are kind of like resting it uh, vertically or things like that, you're not going to be damaging your models inside. And then we've got these extra feet on there. So if you are standing it upright, it can do so without any sort of issue. So again, this feels like a great product, premium feel to it. So what we're going to do now is get into the contents. So now we're going to check out the contents of the bag. So first up, we've got the foam topper, which is the same high quality foam that we've already discussed. I can't really say any more about this foam. It is awesome stuff. Um, but it's great to have that topper, you know, to protect your models from a, you know, a frontal hit maybe, or stopping them from coming out of the containers as well. But let's have a look at the Soul Wars trays themselves. So first up, you'll notice we've got a couple of characters here. We've got the Knight of Shrouds and we've got a custom container for him, which is great because these guys are super brittle. I mean, look at that sword. We've got all these things sticking out. So, you know, you want these guys to be safe and having a custom container like this, make sure that they're not moving about and hopefully, you know, that sword is not gonna break off. And the same with this guy, we've got the Executioner and we've got these Reapers as well. So even though we've got some trays here or some containers here, sorry, that aren't custom to fit the specific models, you know, they're still not moving around too much, but it also leaves you some options to put other models in there as well. And I've been really looking to see if there's any sort of criticism about these cases, about the trays, you know, I want to have a fair review. And in all honesty, I've been finding it hard to find anything wrong with them. But the one thing I will say, and this is nitpicking a little bit, and it's maybe more criticism on the Soul Wars box itself rather than what Felder have put together, you know, because this does fit that box um, completely. But the units in that box aren't complete. So if you look at the Reapers here, we've got four going on, but actually for a full unit, 
we're going to need 10. So if you want to fit extra models in here, we do have spaces. We could take these guys out. But the problem is you can fit this uh, particular Reaper in, no problem. But actually, if you go for the guy who's got the scythe up, he doesn't really fit in um, in that container. So if you are looking to take a full unit of of Reapers, you may have to look at a different bottom layer or perhaps sacrifice some of these other bigger slots to fit them in. So again, I'm not too sure who, who I'm, I'm kind of criticizing here, whether it's um, you know Games Workshop's design of the Solos box not to include full units, because I can't really blame Felder from putting together this tray because you know it does what it says on the tin, you know, it, it fits that box set completely. So that is me just nitpicking because I can't really say anything else bad about uh, the trays or the bags. But, you know, this tray is great. It fits everything. Nothing seems to be kind of like moving around too much and it will protect these, these models. So let's have a look at the bottom tray, which we've got uh, a lot of chain rasps in here. So I think you're given 14 extra slots. So if you're putting everything from Soul Wars, into this bag, you'll be left with 14 extra slots in this um, in this tray to fit whatever you want. And of course, I fill them with chain rasps. <laughs> so these are the guys I've painted up, and you know this bag keeps them you know pretty safe. I mean, <laughs> I can't again can't say anything bad about it. They don't move around too much. We got these smaller ones here to fit the smaller models. This guy I've had his arm break off. You could probably see a little bit quite a lot but again since I've been putting it in this bag I've had no problems whatsoever because he fits really snugly in this slot and he's just got no movement going on there so his um, kind of the, the brittle parts on these are kept pretty safe so again this tray awesome it fits everything perfectly and for these guys who have got a bit more of a longer or bigger presence really in terms of their silhouette we've got these bigger options here as well but for those 14 extra slots you can use for whatever you want maybe you want to take your kill team in here as well but it's good to have options for extra space so that is the medium bag and those are the soul wars trays so here we've got the Felder Magnetic Blue Box. So perhaps you've seen the Mini Plus and thought, you know what, that's just too much space. I just want something for my one warband, my one kill team, and that's it. And this box does that because it contains one half size foam tray, which is perfect for those circumstances. And in this one, we've got the Amble expansion for Blackstone Fortress. But before we get stuck into that, let's take a look at the box itself. So it's very simple in its design and I don't think it needs to be complex. I mean, it's got nice graphics going on. It's solid, it's lightweight, which is what you want when you transport in just one warband. You don't want anything too bulky or too heavy. The material as well, you know, it does feel strong. It's coated, it's not porous. So I live in Wales, so that means at literally any point it could rain. <laughs> so I'd like to think that if I'm carrying this about, it's not going to disintegrate at the first sign of a drizzle or, you know, a bit, a bit of rain. And in all honesty, I've not tested it, but it doesn't feel like it is going to completely fall apart on you if you are caught in a shower or something like that. Um, it is held together then with two magnets at the front and they're pretty good. I mean, they don't feel too strong, which is great because it means you can open it fairly easily, but they don't feel too weak either. So I don't think it's gonna just open on you while you're carrying it in a rucksack or in your car. So, you know, overall, it feels like a very kind of sturdy, simple box that'll do with the job. So no complaints from me at this stage, but let's take a look at what's inside. So now that the box is open, you can see that we're treated to that very vibrant blue. So I'm a sucker for the red lining within the material bag. So it's good to see that Felder have continued with the colorful theme for these boxes as well. And as I mentioned, we've got the dreaded Amble expansion for Blackstone Fortress in here. So we've got our cards, our Amble, Amble Enraged, Boarworm Infestation. We've got our dreaded Amble rules, and we've got the quest, the Lair of the Beast. And then we've got our foam topper as well. So I'm just gonna move these to the side and take a look at the dreaded Amble tray. So straight away you can see we've got containers for each of the parts that come in the expansion. We've got space for the ship, uh, the laboratory, the sending us into the Blackstone Fortress. And I suppose we've got space there for more of the ships um, if you wanted to add them in. And we've got like a finger gap just to get in there. We've got the cards themselves. We've got the vault card. We've got the discovery and the encounter cards that sit nicely in there. And then we've got the tokens over here. And then we're gonna look at the uh, big guy himself. So this is the dreaded amble. As you can see, his 
container fits him perfectly. So he just slots nicely in there, little movement. And again, we've got him surrounded by this robust, soft uh, quality foam. And then we've got the boar worm infestations fitting in nicely into those tubes. And the whole thing then is protected by the sturdy box. But what's great as well is you can remove this tray. So I'm just gonna set this aside. And then you can replace it if you wanted to with something different. So here are the curse breakers. So we pop them in there, perfect fit. The only thing I see that's different is there's a bit of a gap going on there. So if you took the um, main foam topper and put it in the box, you can see there's still a bit of a gap. And the last thing you want is your foam kind of like rattling around in the case. But what Felder also do is different sized foam toppers. So we got some thinner ones going on here and we got some thicker ones as well. So if you need to kind of like double up or um, add some extra height to your, your foam, you can just pop that on there and you're good to go. So guys, that is the magnetic blue box. So now we're going to take a look at the Felder Pluck Foam. So Pluck Foam is great because you can customise it to fit whatever model you want really, especially those models that are a little tricky to fit into standard containers. And Felder produced two types. We've got this one on the left, which has an adhesive bottom, so you can stick it into a container like the magnetic box that we've been through. And then we've just got a regular one here. So what we're going to do is uh, have a look at how easy it is to remove some of this Pluck Foam. And in all honesty, you know what, it's the same as any other pluck foam really. It's not hard to remove. Uh, it's pretty easy to um, kind of tear at and separate. Um, but the good thing is, is it's made using that foam that we've already looked at. And uh, it was high quality, it's great stuff. So what I'm gonna do is go away, tear out some of these things and get some models in there. We're getting stuck into the pluck foam here and I'm going to try and create some containers for the Banshees and for the Nighthorned Reapers, seeing as they are both quite difficult to fit into standard trays that are designed for 32mm infantry. One feature that I particularly like about this pluck foam is that the squares you can remove are pretty small, so that means you can create some really precise containers without sacrificing too much space. As you can see, the Reapers have some really delicate parts, especially those scythes which are pretty prone to snapping off because they're so fragile. So to be able to just create a notch in the foam to hold the end of the blade will hopefully prevent those scythes from breaking as the model won't be moving around as much in the foam container. So as you've seen, it is really easy to just pluck out the bits of foam and create shapes the match your models, especially for models like the Miramon Banshees who have such a unique kind of pose. It's really difficult to find standard containers to fit them. Sometimes they're just too big or you just end up trying to squeeze them in. The only thing I'll say though is with the one that didn't come with the heat adhesive, what I learned is there's no bottom to it. <laughs> so you're gonna need something like a topper underneath it if you are getting the one without adhesive. But it makes sense now to why this one does have adhesive because you would just kind of peel this off, make your shapes and then just stick it to what would traditionally um, be a topper. But overall, again, it's just got that great foam that Felder produced, and it's really versatile that you can just make your own shape. So great stuff. So that is a look at some of the products that Felder provide. And I've got to admit, I am pretty impressed. The foam is great, the cases are really high quality, and they offer a range of different options for different game systems. In terms of the pricing, I feel like they've got that pretty spot on as well. I mean, for the Mini Plus with uh, three half size foam trays, that's going to cost about £30. For that magnetic box with the one tray, that's about £15. And for the larger medium with the two Nighthorn trays, that costs around £40. So I do feel like that is pretty good value for money considering the high quality of the cases and the foam. But in summary, I would say that these cases are reliable, they're durable. The foam, again, is really high quality, soft, but also robust. And Felder themselves are really great to deal with. So I would thoroughly recommend this product to anyone that's looking for a case to protect their models. 
Guys, that is the end of today's episode. Really hope you've enjoyed. If you have, drop me a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And if you want to take a look at any of the products that we've discussed today, then there are links in the video description below. So make sure you're checking those out. We're going to be back with more content on the weekend, so I really hope you'll join me for that. But until then, thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.